my gosh, this shirt. Oh, this shirt is so cute. Oof. These, oh my gosh. Here's another lupus shirt. This purse, I don't even like it anymore. Ooh, now this, I like this. Hey guys, so today we are cleaning out my wardrobe. I say today, but I actually recorded this footage a couple of weeks ago and I'm finally just putting it together for you all. But it's all right, because it's gonna be the same amount of fun. We're gonna go through my clothes first and then my purses and then jewelry last. So let's go, come on and declutter with me. Okay, so I have a pile of clothes over here and also behind me, if you can see, those are some old work clothes that I used to wear um, as a teacher. And so I am going through all of them and getting rid of as much as I can, as much as I don't wear. So <sighs> something that I've been holding on to for a long time that I I am ready to get rid of are shirts like this. Lupus, absolute crap, would not recommend. One star for lupus. Um, you know, I went through a phase, I think like we all do, when we were first diagnosed with a chronic illness where we want to raise awareness, of course, and we want to show people like, look, there are disabilities and illnesses that are completely invisible and I'm making it visible by wearing these clothes. But I've reached a point in my life where I no longer want to live in the reminder and awareness stage on like a regular basis in my life. Um, I still will raise awareness where I feel that it's appropriate to, but as far as like an everyday thing of just wearing a bunch of clothes that are constantly reminding myself and others that I'm sick or not well or that I have a chronic disease, um, I'm gonna say no to that because I am moving forward with my life and I'm focusing on health and wellness. All right, this next shirt. I actually, I adore this shirt. It's literally just a little tank top, but this color, like, I don't know if it's considered forest green, army green, whatever it is, like, this is my color. Like, I don't know, it just, it goes really well with my hair, and it's just earthy, and I'm really into earth tones, and so this is just me, and I wear this all the time, so I'm absolutely keeping this tank top. Another thing that I always keep, that I always wear, are just plain tank tops because I like to wear them by themselves and I also like to wear them underneath other shirts that may be somewhat see-through. Honestly, I don't know what material this is, but this material has held up really well over the years and um, this is one of my favorites, so I'm gonna keep it. Oof, oof. These, oh my gosh. Okay, so when I was teaching especially, but also um, even before that, I went through a phase where I literally bought leggings of every color. <laughs> and I would wear these all different colored leggings underneath dresses or even skirts um, with like boots. And yeah, that was... Um, those were interesting times. So these are really nice quality. I'm definitely donating these. They're so soft and so thick. So they're really good for winter time, but I've definitely outgrown these in terms of style. So they are going goodbye. I have another lupus shirt here, put on purple, make lupus visible. Again, it served its purpose when I was wearing it, um, but now I am done with wearing these every day. This shirt right here um, was given to me by somebody who it was actually, she was donating her clothes and she asked me if I wanted to look through them before she donated them to see if there was anything I wanted. And I kind of just like picked out the things that I was like, oh, maybe I'll like this, you know, we'll see, I'll try it on. And this was one of those shirts and I did try it on and I wore it a couple times and it was all right, but I'm definitely over it. So this is going to be donated as well. This tank top right here, I think I bought this like to go to the gym and like do workouts in. It's like that kind of material. Um, I liked it for a while. I was into it, but I've definitely outgrown it in terms of style. So I am going to donate it. 
This shirt right here is another one um, that was given to me. So it's got like short sleeves and this. And I do like it, I will say. But one weird thing about it is like when I put it on, the bottom, which you can't see, the bottom is uneven, which I know that's supposed to be the style, but like it always fits really weird, like in the front, like it'll do this thing where it like moves over here and then it's like split in an odd place. So even though I kind of like this shirt in theory, it's not, not my favorite and I don't like it enough to keep it. All right, these leggings are black and they are the same material as the burgundy ones that I showed you. And because they are black and only because they are black, I'm keeping them because I do need a thick pair of leggings for the winter but I feel like I don't wear any other color leggings other than black and gray these days um so I'm going to keep these oof these what are these oh my gosh oh you know what you know what I think yes that's what these are these are my UV protective leggings which honestly fit like a wetsuit <laughs> um but when my lupus is flaring i can't be in the sun without extra protection or else that makes the flare up so much worse so i do unfortunately <laughs> need to keep these for when slash if my lupus ever flares up again and i need to be outside um you know, I wear sunscreen, but sometimes it's not enough with lupus, so I am going to keep these, but I'll keep them in a special spot. This shirt right here, oh my gosh. This shirt I have worn so much. Seriously, so often I have worn this shirt. Um, I've got my use out of it. I really love it in some ways, but it's definitely not my go-to style at this point in my life. Um, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna part ways. I'm gonna close the chapter on this shirt and let it go. Here's another lupus shirt. F lupus. I loved this shirt when I bought it because it's exactly how I was feeling. <laughs> it's exactly how I was feeling. F lupus. Um, because I was going through a really hard time with it. But you know what? Those days are over. I'm not struggling anymore and even if I do flare up again in the future, I want to see the flare up through a different lens and with a different mindset. Oh my gosh, this shirt. Oh, this shirt is so cute. I love this, this little shirt. I've worn this so many times and it it's just really cute. I don't know. I really like it. Um, I'm going to keep it. This shirt is something that I bought more recently and I love this shirt. I'm trying to put it here. <laughs> I love this shirt. It's super unique. The color, again, it goes really well with my hair. I just, I love this color. Um, and it's a newer shirt, so I do really like it. It's still my style, so I'm going to keep it. And then this one. This one, I don't know. I have a hard time parting with it. Fall seven times, stand up eight because it is a positive reminder to me that even when I fall, I can stand up again. It's it's kind of an awareness shirt, but it's not an awareness shirt in the same way as I feel like the lupus shirts I've showed you already are. But I think this is the one semi-awareness shirt that I do want to keep because it is a nice motivational, inspirational reminder to me when I'm going through a tough emotional time, um, that I'll always get back up again. All right, now here comes the fun stuff, guys. This is my teacher wardrobe that I have not touched in almost two years um, since I left teaching. <laughs> so let's see. Um, this shirt right here, I actually, I really like the design, but it's never really fit me right. I know it looks, it actually looks like it fits me really well here. Um, but it, it's a little bit too tight, not a little bit, kind of a lot of bit too tight up here. Um, and I just, I don't like how it fits. So although I like the design, um, I'm going to part ways with it. 
I also had as a teacher, remember I told you I would wear all different colored leggings. So this is like an example of a dress that I used to wear on top of the leggings. So uh, with this, I would probably only wear black leggings. <laughs> Nothing else would really go with it. But um, I like these dresses. I got them on Amazon and they're just so easy to slip on. Like, I don't know, talk about just like easy to get ready for work in the morning. It was just like, all right, leggings this and then some like knee high boots and that's that's what I wore. I am going back to part time flexible work in the schools, literally one right down the street from my house that I can walk to I don't even have to drive to. Um, I am going back to work for them a couple days a week on my own schedule when I choose um, just to make some extra cash in 2023. So I'm actually probably going to keep this that way I have it. Um, cause I would still wear this going into 2023 for work. This shirt, oof. Yeah. I'm, I'm not feeling this one anymore. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's pretty. I do like the design on it, but it's I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling that I would wear this one. So donate this dress right here. This dress honestly brings up a little bit of anxiety for me because this is the dress that I was wearing in a car accident that I was in on my way to work. Um, <laughs> the car accident that basically like made all of my autoimmune issues like skyrocket. Um, and progress really quickly because of all the stress from that accident. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to part ways with this dress. <laughs> Here's another, um, it's a similar bottom to, so these, okay, these have like a fake <laughs> vest that looks kind of real and it's kind of cool. Like I kind of like how this is designed. Um, because it just, again, it's one piece, it's easy to just slip over your head, but like it looks like pretty professional. I may actually wear this uh, still in, in a school today. So I will keep that in my back pocket. So this is interesting. I'm looking through my closet and I found all of these um, like little wallets and things. Uh, the coach one was a gift years ago. Um, but yeah, so usually like what I what I used to do with with these is when I would go out, I would put my um, license and my credit card and a little bit of cash like in these little things or, you know, my phone. So like the bigger ones, like I could fit my phone in here and then put like um, my cash and everything. So I have a bunch of different ones of these and I'm getting rid of them all because what I've realized is that like recently when I go out, really all that I do is grab my license and my um, credit card and I basically just put them in a zipper pocket or I'll give them to my husband because every time I go out I'm pretty much I'm with my husband. so. I will just give them to him. He'll put them in his wallet. Um, I don't really need these things anymore. I haven't used them in like, I don't know, two years maybe longer. Um, so I'm getting rid of them. Okay, I'm in my closet here and I'm finding more stuff. This, I don't know why I kept this. I literally bought a new wallet and then I was like, oh no, I should save the old one just in case I need it like why I have a new wallet I don't need this so I'm getting rid of this um this fancy little purse I do still use when we go somewhere fancy like weddings or wine tastings or I don't know something fancy um and I can fit my phone in there so this I will be keeping so I'll hang that up there um this though this purse I don't even like it anymore I'm getting rid of it this little bag is super cute this little book bag i do use this whenever we like go out in the summer and like we're riding bikes or, or uh, just walking on the boardwalk or doing whatever i will pack this little bag with like 
water bottles, snacks, you know, whatever. So I am keeping this guy. Okay, so something to know about me when it comes to jewelry is that I have not worn jewelry in years. Um, I do every now and then I'll have like a necklace that I wear that means something to me. But as far as jewelry goes, like I'm, I've never been a jewelry girl. With that said, of course, I've always, like anybody, gone through phases where I bought jewelry. Wore them for the time being, but now that, that ship has sailed. Um, I'm not into it anymore. So I wanted to go through my jewelry here and I've got my necklaces here. Oh, this literally just broke. <laughs> I was trying to undo the stunt angle. It literally just broke, but I was going to throw this out anyway. Um, this little elephant necklace is what I used to wear when I was in love with African wildlife and wanting to go there when I was working on a safari and I really wanted to go to Africa um, I still have not gone, but it's definitely on my list of places to go. But yeah, that piece of jewelry is going. Um, I also at the time worked at an aquarium and was very into aquatic life. So here's my little seahorse necklace that I used to wear. I guess this one was lower. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to part with that. Ooh, I actually love this one, but it's so old and tarnished because it's cheap. But dream catchers, um, they really remind me of when I was a child because my dad always used to take me to the Native American reservations and festivals and things like that. And we would buy from them to support local tribes. So yeah, this, um, this definitely feels like home, but this one's all tarnished. So that can go goodbye. This necklace I bought just to wear like when we go out um, places, it's actually held up pretty well. Um, I do like this design and this is something that I would wear once in a while, like for special occasions, especially with that like bedazzled um, purse that I showed you guys. So I'm gonna keep this one. This, oh my gosh, this guys, if I can even figure out how it goes, it like came apart, but I used to actually really like in middle school, I mean, obviously what middle school girl doesn't like charms, uh, little charm bracelets. Oh, these are so cute. Again, the feathers like just remind me of my childhood um, and just connecting with animals and the land, the native land that we live on um, that I just feel really connected to. Um, and I love the brown, like just earthy tone, earthy feel to this. Like this is just like me. This is my style. This is my soul right here. Um, but yeah, it's kind of all messed up. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This watch, I'm pretty sure this watch I um, got in high school, I think. I don't think it was middle school. I think I got this watch in high school. And I loved it. I wore it all the time in high school, but yeah, I have been out of high school for 10 years, over 10 years now, 10 and a half years, right? Yeah, 10 and a half years. So it's time to get rid of it. These came from my grandmother. They're two different necklaces. So I do not want them anymore, but I'm going to give them back to her. I'm not going to get rid of them. Ooh, now this, I like this. I This is like, this is my style. Very, again, earthy. Ooh, look at this. I didn't even know I had this, guys. I don't even know where the heck, where this came from. These are really pretty, though. Wow, like, this looks like real stone, and they're all different colors. Oh, my gosh. This is super, super pretty. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm going to keep these because I may wear them in the future. Um... Yeah, and I just really like them. So I'm going to keep this. This one, just like some cheap decoration for different events. I do like the style somewhat. I do. Um, but it just looks very cheap. Like these are like really just like dollar store beads. I don't know. I'm not, not really into that one. So goodbye. This, I don't remember where this came from. It's a heart shaped, I'm terrible with different kinds of stones. So I don't know what kind of stone that is, but I'm definitely curious to look it up and 
see what that stone represents. Um, so I'm going to hold on to that for a little while and see if I want to keep it after, after I look it up. Okay, now I'm going to stop this video here because if I were to show you my entire wardrobe and closet and everything that I've had to declutter over the last couple of weeks, it would take hours and hours and hours of footage. So I'm just going to leave it here at this. Let me know down in the comments what else you want me to declutter in my home, what you want to see next. I'm totally down to declutter every room of my house with you all and share my process with you as I do it. So let me know if you're interested in seeing more of these vlog style decluttering cluttering videos and I will see you guys in the next one.